Have you ever wondered how to build a CLI using JavaScript? This video is going to show you how to do that. So what's a CLI? A CLI is a program you run from the terminal. It could take zero or multiple arguments, which it uses to decide what to do. For example, package managers like NPM, Yang, is a CLI to manage dependencies and run script to find in package.json. I'm sure most of you have used it. So let me show you how to build a CLI using JavaScript and Bun. We are going to build a CLI for uploading files and directory to an S3 bucket. We will make use of the recently, recently released S3 client in Bun to communicate with the S3 service. So let's get started. So I'm going to create a Bun project and I'm going to add a CLI helper called Mio. So see, uh, Mio is a CLI helper that allows me to be able to pass arguments, convert the options of flux to camel case, as well as output the version number and help flag automatically. And to use that, we've already installed it and I'm going to import the copy this part you will need for the package. I'm going to replace this with bun. So this shebang practically tells the terminal which interpreter to use to run the code. And in this case, it's going to use bun. So we have this package imported, but we need a few more libraries to work with S3. We need to read files. And for that, I'm going to import uh, base name i'm going to import base name from notepad and i'm also going to import we address from fs promises and for preferences i like to do this so i'm going to put the node prefix and next up, we would need to instantiate the um, helper. So it takes two, two parameters or two arguments. So this is the help, help description that it will render when you pass in the help flag. And then we can define the flags that are necessary for that to happen. So I, I'm going to copy in the text from a different window and put that in. So here we define our, our code, our, rather our help text. And it will be called S3 upload. Then we pass in the bucket as a command or rather as a, as a value. And then we have the rest of the flags to deal with. We have the file to upload a single file, dir to upload a directory. And the rest here are the credentials to be able to um, communicate with any S3 compatible storage. And for this, we are going to, these flags will be optional because by default, the Bond S3 client can read these values from the environment variables, either with these options or these other fallback options. And we would use that as a fallback options if none of these flags are specified. And the rest is the help, help flag. So if we have this, we can try to see what, what we get. So if you pass the shelf, we should see the help flag, which we do here. Um, pretty handy. And yeah, so that's all we need for, for this setup. The next thing for me is to save the upload the file 
Uh, so we start define the variable called bucket and let's say get the CLI into it the first argument to get to zero and if if we have a bucket then we want to call a function called upload yeah upload pass in the bucket and the CLI flags. If not, oh sorry, this changed. Uh, let's see. If not, we want to log the error. Let's see error please provide the name and we do cli does show help we pass in the flag one so that um, it will exit the program with with exit code of one and now we need to define the upload function which will take in the parameters which will take in these necessary parameters and upload the file so we have async uh, so I'm going to change these flags. We'll just use type of CLI dot flag. So um, the buckets. So the first thing we need to check check after this is to be sure that um, either the file or the directory flag is passed. So if there's no flag dot file and there's no flag dot dir, we want to uh, show this error. Uh, please provide a file or directory and then exit, show the help flag and then exit. After that, let's instantiate the S3 client. Uh, and then, so, uh, so I think we need to bring this in from bun and the rest we can Put out here. So yeah, now we have the client and we can interact with it. If they are not passed, they get on the find and bomb will use the default one from the environment variable. And if none is there, it will throw an error. So now we want to, if there's a file, so flags dot file if there is what we want to do we need a we want to call await client dot write and here we don't need the bucket so we just need the the key we get we use the base name to get the exact key depending on how the value was passed and now we give it bond.file the file to upload and we pass the the input from the terminal to bond.file to read that and once that is done we we can upload it we can um, log the information and return otherwise it means um, to flag dot directory here should be so if if there's um, the directory specified now we need to implement to implement the directory but before we do that, we can try to see 
if it works with the file. So I I have those environment variables for my S3 bucket specified. So we can see here if I try to upload to a bucket I call first site and I upload in um, index.ts. Oh yeah, I need the file. Oh, we need to save this file. So we try it again. Uh oh, invalid path. Oh yeah, so we've we need to add the bucket here and let's give that another try uh, save I don't know why my auto save isn't working so if I try again yeah we see the file gets uploaded so now we have the file upload working let's go ahead to implement the, the directory upload and for the directory upload, we are going to use one of the methods we imported from FS. We want to scan the whole file. Um, we want to scan the whole directory to see which, um, how many files there are, to get the files on the parent path. So directory contents. I passing optional flags so here it should show the file types and I want it to be recursive so that it goes deep and gets more files in each subdirectories here without this recursive it will just get the, the the parent layer kind of like when you run ls command in the terminal so now we have the directory contents we need to get the file so we want to pass the files and i'm going to just reduce here let's see this should be a array of strings so if it is a file we want to add it to the list but the file name is usually just the name of the file it doesn't show the full path to the file so i want to add as an extra caution here um, so let's see or oh, let me rename we rename this to D range. That's how I'd like to call it. So if this is a file, then if there's if it has parent path, we want to add them together. So put the path with the file name, add uh, return the path of the file name, otherwise just add the file name, which means it's at the root of the directory. I think that should be all we need here and now that we have the file we can loop through and upload them to S3 uh, probably we don't need the base name here could just use the the full directory path should be correct here and then we pass in the file so that um, the S3 client could upload it and after that, we are done. Uh, yeah. So that should be it. And we can try to upload a folder. So let's see. what's a shorter, smaller um, component to upload here. So 
So we can try with, let's say, DIR, and we want to upload node modules slash um, bone pipes slash docs. So we see the files are getting uploaded, but looks like <laughs> that's a lot to be uploaded. Um, okay, that's quite a lot. Damn, I hope I would kill this. And but I think you you can see that it's working. I think um, this is all we have working at the moment. So now it runs with a bond CLI. The next part that you need to do is how to package it and upload to NPM or distribute with to whoever is going to use it. And there are two ways to do this. You can compile the code to a, an executable which bond allows and then distribute it using any package manager like Homebrew and the likes. Or you can also publish to NPM registry. And from the registry, people can install it and run, run it like a CLI, which means it gets added to your pack. So if you use, let's say NPM install dash G or hyphen hyphen global, it can install it globally and then um, copy the uh, uh, executable files to the system pack. And for that one, you would need to add modify your package.json. You can add a description which helps, you know, with NPM when you view the files in NPM. Add a version which is necessary. That's where it will pick up the version when you do hyphen hyphen version from the CLI. And now we're going to add bin. Bean. and here we're just going to say index.ts and that should do it once you have that the next part for you to do is to run npm publish publish to um, npm and then install um, just like you would any other npm package and that should that is all you need to do um, there are other CLI helper libraries you can check out if you have more complex need. But I think this meal package is quite simplistic enough to get started. And that's it. If you have any question, please leave a comment. Otherwise, also check out Fantastic, which is a CLI which is a uh, S3 client or S S3 CLI for uploading files and directly to your bucket. And you can find that with this URL here. I will drop that also in the comments. And you can find more here in the library. It has a CLI package which you can find in the CLI folder and you find more information about it. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day.